Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion. Bless God. All right, so I want to read in this morning. We'll be coming from Ephesians 4 and verse 27. But of course, you know, this week we have been discussing having dominion, the authority of the believer. That because you are in Christ Jesus, you have been given authority over the devil and all of his kingdom. But we said you must use this authority, exercising this authority daily, walking in dominion over all the works of the enemy. All right. Your tongue is your seat of authority. You release your authority by using your mouth, by using your words. All right. And we saw that in the name of Jesus, devils are subject unto you. Yes, you. Thank God for the apostles and the bishops and the prophets and all these different people, but also you, devils are subject unto you when you use your authority in the name of Jesus, all right? And we saw yesterday, you have the responsibility to resist the devil. Stand firm against him, my God. And when he finds resistance, he says, resist the devil and he will flee. That word flee we saw yesterday says to run in terror, my God. So I encourage you, use your authority, okay? So let's read Ephesians 4 and verse 27. It says, Neither give place to the devil, all right? Amplify, it says, leave no such room or foothold for the devil. Give no opportunity to him. Yes, Lord, all right? Don't give the devil no place, no opportunity in your life. Don't let him get away with anything. You know, you hear people say, you give him an inch of here, take him out. My God, don't let him in. Don't get, don't allow him to get away with it. My God, any little room, any little opportunity, any little space you give him, my God, he's going to try to come in and, 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 and wreck shop, my God, and test some things. He said he come to steal, he come to kill, and he come to destroy. So don't let him get away with anything. Don't sit there and let him move into your home. Use your authority and cast his hind parts out. <laughs> My God, resist him and he will flee. You have the authority. Open up your mouth and say, no, not here. We're not having this. I plead the blood of Jesus over my house and over my family, my kids. You cast his hind parts out. Give him no room, no space. No opportunity. He, I, I, I'm hearing all of No room. Don't let him have a room in your house. My God. <laughs> Good Lord. Don't let him move in. Cast his house out. Don't give him no space. Amen. Amen. Bless God. Let's go ahead and take him on this morning. Don't let him get away with anything. Don't let that jiggle have a room in your house. No. Put his house out. He's unwelcome. My God. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. Father, we thank you for this new day. Father, another opportunity you've given it to us to come before your table to commune with you and with one another. And for that, we say thank you. We take the bread right now, which represents the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, everything you did was well, for us. You was made sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God. The chastisement for our peace, our complete wholeness was upon you. With and by your stripes, we were healed. Therefore, we are healed. And for that, we say thank you. We love you, Lord Jesus. We do this in remembrance of you and all you've done. We discern your body right now. And we acknowledge every time we take communion, all the covenant benefits, rights, and privileges are released on the inside of us. We take the bread right now. And we eat all of it. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we bless you, Lord. Oh, we bless you, Lord. And we take the cup, the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus. Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning, holy, blameless, the righteousness of God, without fault, without blame, in love, all sins, all sins forgiven past, present, future, never to be remembered again, never to be brought up again, never to be discussed again. And for that, we say thank you, Lord Jesus. We love you today, and we take the cup. We drink all of it. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. I encourage you again, don't give him no room. Don't let him move in. 
kick his half bars out. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. All right. Let's get the uh, uh, throw it in the believer confession in on this morning. I am in Christ Jesus, and I have been given dominion, power, and authority over the devil and his kingdom. I have been raised up by Christ to sit with him in heavenly places far above all principalities and powers. I will use my authority and exercise my dominion on today. I take authority over all demonic activity, every plot, every plan of the devil. I bind it in the name of Jesus and I decree it will not prosper. It will not come to pass in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Bless God. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you, Father. And we thank you, Father, for this new day and all you have in store for each and every one of us, Father. I shout grace, grace to all those who are watching, Father. I thank you to every need of every household is men in full with abundance and more than enough. Father, I ask you to show them your glory, Father. Father, I pray for all those who need healing and health and strength in their bodies. Lord Jesus, you bore all of our sicknesses, carried all of our diseases, and with and by your stripes we were healed. Therefore, we are healed, and we decree, Father, and we thank you that you have healed them all in the name of Jesus. And we speak peace to each household right now. We bind all strife, division, and confusion, and we lose unity and oneness. Everybody working together, loving on one another, Father. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen, amen. Hey, we love you guys. We thank you guys for joining us all week for Everyday Communion. We pray each and every one of you have an awesome weekend full of God's favor and blessing. Amen, amen. Love you guys.